Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and I am glad to be back for a video again. So today's video is on a 9 cage, 9 digit cage Sudoku created by Clover. This Sudoku was posted by her on the Logic Masters Germany portal and uh, it has received a rating of 95% and so we thought it is interesting enough to feature a video on this Sudoku. And let us move on to the rules. Classic rules apply and in addition to that two cells with an x between them sum to 10 okay so there are uh, x given inside the grid so these digits must sum up to 10 not all pairs that sum to 10 are marked okay so you may have two digits adjacent to each other without summing to 10 uh, sorry with summing to 10 digits along a thermometer strictly increase starting at the bulb end and digits may not increase within a cage okay so in each of the thermometer shapes there are four thermometers starting from the round bell till the flat end digits will strictly increase right and uh, there are some uh, cells which are encompassed by uh, dotted lines right as you can see so all these cells are uh, seem to be nine uh, of size nine right yeah all the cells all the cages that you see may not have repeating digits inside them so which means that since each of them is 9 cell long, so each would have to contain the digits from 1 to 9. That is the first observation that needs to be made in this Sudoku. So and before uh, starting the Sudoku, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, uh, we would uh, request you to check out the videos that we have posted on the channel previously. And if you feel they are interesting and enough, please uh, subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate if you uh, subscribe to the channel. So let us start solving the Sudoku now. So this cage seems to be very interesting guys. Look at this cage. So whichever digit uh, is present here cannot again come here right because it cannot repeat its, uh, itself inside a cage and we know that column 9 must have must need to have this uh, digit. So let us highlight so whatever comes here has to go here because it cannot be present in any of these cells. And uh, we also know that the range of this cell must be from 1 to 7 because of the thermometer. So it cannot have uh, more than 7. Oh, this is interesting guys. So look at these red cells. They must go in column 7, right? They cannot be here. They cannot be here. And they also cannot be in these two cells. Uh, can you see why? Because this cage is of cell uh, size 9. And whatever comes here cannot again repeat itself here. So this would have to go here. Okay, I don't think we can do anything further with this for now. Let us come over to this cage. This is also pretty interesting, right? So look at this cell. It, it is very interesting, guys. You can immediately uh, deduce the position of this uh, whatever comes in row 6, column 3. It cannot present be present in these 6 cells. It's part of the same cage. It cannot go here due to classic. So whatever comes here, let's mark a green has to be here. Actually, we can do further with this cage. The two cells outside. So whichever comes here, again cannot be here, cannot be here. So these both these cells must be equal. So let me mark a blue cell. And now this cell, the last cell uh, left outside the nine uh, size cage cannot be here. So both of these cells must be equal. Wow, this is absolutely lovely guys. Even before starting to write the digits, I can feel that this Sudoku is so much fun to solve. And now let us look at this cell. This is a 9 cell cage and this would have to go inside the 9 cell cage. It cannot be present in any of these cells. It would have to go here. So all these blue cells are equal. Okay, look at this green cell guys. It's very very restricted because of the thermometer. We know that the minimum value of the green cell must be a 2, right? Because of the thermo here. And but because of this thermo, it becomes minimum 3. So it cannot be a 2. So the minimum value is 3. And maximum can be 6. Because if you have 7, then this part will be violated. So this can only be 3, 4, 5 and 6. And this would also be 3, 4, 5 and 6. Which means that this would be minimum 4 and maximum 7. This would be minimum 5 and maximum 8. This would be 6, and 9. 6 7, 8 and 9. 
So the correspondingly this yellow cell becomes 5, 6, 7, 8 but 5 is not possible in an X. So 5 is eliminated which means the blue cell becomes 4, 3, 2 to sum up to 10 and all these blue cells will be 2, 3, 4. Beautiful guys. Absolutely beautiful to solve this Sudoku. Really, really interesting. So much fun to solve. So this cannot be a 2 because it's at the end of a 3 cell thermo. So this is minimum 3. So all these blue cells now become a 3 and because 2 is eliminated, 8 is also eliminated. Which means that this would be minimum 2, this would be minimum 3, this would be minimum 1 and 2. Now the red cells can be extrapolated. So all these cells, red cells must be 1 and 2. Which means for this x, this must be uh, 9 or 8. Okay, so because this becomes minimum 3, 4, so all these cells will be changed in values now. So the, this one becomes minimum 4, this one becomes minimum 5. So 3, 4 is eliminated. So this is minimum 4 and maximum this is going to be a 5, 4 and 5. Which means that this green cell would have to be reciprocated here. This Both of these would be 5, 6. And which means this cell is minimum 6 now. Superb guys, superb. So minimum, this becomes minimum 7, this becomes minimum 8. Beautiful, right? So this uh, yellow cells must be equal. So which means that uh, the only common digit is 7. So this is a 7. This is a 7, which means this is a 6. This is a 5. This becomes a 5. This becomes 4. This becomes 3. This becomes 3. This becomes 3. 2, 1, 1, 1 and 9. Wow. Absolutely beautiful, guys. We got a flurry of digits all of a sudden because of some really sweet deductions. So we can use make use of this concept again further. You know, look at this blue cell. It has to be present inside this 9 cell cage. There is only one cell left for it to go. It cannot be present in any of these cells. So which means that this cell would have to be taking the blue cell. So again, this all works on the premise that we established at the start. Each of the cage is of uh, size 9. So they would have to contain the digits from 1 to 9 exactly once. So again, going thinking along the same angle, look at these two cells guys. These two cells cannot be present in any of these six cells, but they would have to be present in the nine cell cage. They cannot be present here. So which, which means that whatever comes in this cell, let me use which color, uh, maybe this gray. So would have to be present in these two cells, right? Which means that using classic, let's say A and B are here. A and B has to go here and A and B would have to be present in these three cells. But one cannot be A or B, so A and B would have to be present here. Beautiful. So these two cells basically sum up to 10. So uh, they cannot be 1, 2 and 3, so they must be 4 and 6, right? Because we know that to sum up to 10, we need to have exactly one digit from 1 to 4 and one digit from 6 to 9. So which means this is 4 and 6 and this is 4 and 6. Or a simpler way to look at it is, this x cannot be 1 and 9, cannot be 2 and 8, cannot be 3 and 7, so this must be 4 and 6. So 4 here gives us 6 here and a 4 here. Okay, let us look at maybe row 6, 3, 5, 6, 7, 1 and 9, so remaining candidates must be 2, 4, 8. This is not a 4, uh, this is 2 and 8. This is not an 8, so this is 2 and 4 and this is 2, 4 and 8. So using classic, 3 would have to be present in column 4, 4 in this cell. So this 1, 2, 3 is helping with this x guys. So this must be a 4 and 6 straight away. But a 6 here gives the 6 here and the 4 here. So look at this cell guys, this is very interesting. I was looking at this cage when this cell caught my eye. So whatever comes here would have to be present inside this cage, right? And it cannot be present in any of these cells. Sorry, whatever comes here cannot be present inside this cage because it's part of the same cage. So which means that whatever comes here can only go in this cell. So both of these cells become equal in value. So this is a four and which means this is four and this is six.
Wow, this is superb guys. So look at these two cells. Whatever comes in these two cells cannot be present anywhere here or here because we have established both of these cells to be four which means that these two green cells have only two cells left to take inside this cage. They, have to, they would have to be here. So which means these two sum up to 10. So this has been the theme of the Sudoku guys. A really nice theme to execute. Uh, placeholder or uh, just establishing where a certain cell goes inside a certain cage. So these two sum up to 10. They cannot be 3 plus 7, cannot be 4 plus 6. So they must be 1 and 9 or 2 and 8. 1, 9 or 2, 8. Can we rule out one possibility? Uh, 1 and 9 is possible. 2 and 8 is not possible guys because we know that there is a 2 and 8 here which means that either 2 is going to be here or 8 is going to be here. So if you have 2, 8 here for row 6 you will not be able to place the 2 and 8 in a single cell. So this is not a 2, 8. This is 1 and 9 which means this is 1 and 9 but 1 is not going there. So this is 1 and this is a 9. And now in box 5 this 1, 9 pair forces a 1, 9 into these cells and a 2, 8 into these cells. Which means these cells must be 5 and 7. Let us look at row 1, 4, 6, 9, 1, 2, 3. So remaining must be 5, 7 and 8. Okay, so you have a 5, 7 here which means that this is 8 and this these two cells must be 5 and 7. So we haven't yet uh, visited this cage at all. Can we do something here because all the cages we have done something. So using the same idea uh, that has been characteristic of this Sudoku. So look at these two cells guys. They cannot be present in any of these 7 cells because they are part of the same cage. So whatever is in these two cells must go into these cells. So let me highlight those for better clarity. The pink cells must be equal in value. And using simple classic this cell cannot go here. So 2 and 4 must be here. So this is 2 and 4 and 8 and 9 must be here. So this is 8 and 9. But these two sum up to 10. Gorgeous right? Gorgeous. So you can eliminate the 9 from here and the 4 from here. So this becomes 8. This becomes 2. So both of these become 2. So these kind of simple simple logics are really fun to solve. So this 2 gives us an 8. This becomes 4. So this is 257 now. Oops. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. Sorry for that, guys. I opened a window by mistake. So this is not a 6. So these cells must be 257, right, for the box. So 5 cannot go here. So this must be a 5. And this must be a 2 under 7. And now this 5 gives us a 7 here and which means these cells must be 3, 6 and 8. 8 gets uh, knocked out from here and 6 gets knocked out from here. Okay, classic 2 is here, 2 is here. So this is a 2 and 8 is going here because 8 cannot be in these cells. So this is 8 and now for the column the remaining digits are 3, 5, 6. And this little thermo is helping us now. So this must be 3 or 5 and this must be 5 or 6. Okay, these two cells can be resolved, right? 6 cannot be uh, in this cell. So 6 would have to go here. And this would be a 3. Okay, 8 can be placed in column 3. So 8 would have to go here. And these two cells must be 1, 7, 9 for the column, but 7 cannot be here. So this is a 7. So these two cells must be 1, 4 and 9. So these cells must be 3, 5, 7. So 3 is here, which means this is not a 3. So this is 5 and 7. That means that the 3 is going here. So this 2, 7 pair can be resolved. So 2 is going here and 7 is going here, which means these two cells must be 5, 8. 
and there is a 8 here so this is a 5 and this is 8 which means these two cells must be 7 9 and these two cells 3 cells must be 2 5 8 for the column and now uh, this must be 3 7 9 there is a 7 here and 7 here which means this cell is a 7 these two cells must be 3 9 8 here 8 here gives us an 8 this is not a 2 so this is a 2 this is a 5 this is not a 5 this is 3 6 not a 3 this must be a 6 which means these become 3 and 5 so we have uh, deduced all the variant part of the sudoku so we are getting quick digits now 2 3 6 8 1 5 7 4 is here so this is 4 this is 9 so these must be 1 2 5 and 6 but 2 and 5 is in row 8 so we get a 2 5 pair here and a 1 6 pair here and which means that we get the 6 and the 4 so this is 6 this is 4 this 3 uh, resolves this 9 3 pair this 5 resolves this 2 5 pair 2 4 5 7 3 8 and 9 so this must be 1 or 6 but you have a 1 here so this is a 6 this is a 1 this is a 6 okay you have a 9 here so which means this is a 9 this is a 1 this is a 4 this one gives a 1 here and a 9 here 1 3 6 8 4 5 so 2 must be in these cells okay 2 3 4 6 and 8 so 1 must be in these cells okay this 8 can be used to resolve this 2 8 pair 2 4 6 3 7 8 so these must be 1 5 and 9 but you have 1 and 5 here so this must be a 9 which means this is a 9 and this is a 1 this is a 5 a 5 gives a 7 here and a 5 here which gives a 7 here and this you can be used to resolve the 7 9 pair which means this must be 1 and 8 sorry this must be 1 and 2 right 3 4 7 8 3 5 6 9 so 1 and 2 there is a 1 here so which means this is 2 and this is 1 and with that we have completed this sudoku by clover uh, i found it really interesting really enjoyable so we hope to cover more of clover sudokus in the future hope you guys enjoyed watching me solve this uh, sudoku if you have uh, any better step that you found in the solve please share in the comments you would be really enthralled to see your comments and your subscription as well so take care until we see you soon with a video bye bye